Hello and welcome back to A Hat in Time. <clears throat> in this video, I'm going to be going through the diary entries and storybook. <coughs> Storybooks. Yes. <coughs> so, first one. Day one. So I am stranded. A big guy in a chef's apron and a suit knocked on my door. Inside, I mess everything up. Apparently, they're... <coughs> Don't mind me coughing. Apparently they are... Jesus! <laughs> they are the, the mafia of cooks. Why couldn't I have gotten stranded on... Near a normal planet. Day 2. I'm not super sure what that was supposed to be. Some big losers stood around and threw barrels at me. Some had even had spikes on it. Who has spiked barrels? Level 1. Level 5. Level 35. Barrel, explosive, stabber. <clears throat> wow, and I thought the regular mafia were weirdos. At least he had a timepiece I could take. How do they keep finding these things? Mud. Cross out. Alien slime. <clears throat> no wonder these guys are so dumb if that's who they put in charge. I guess nobody is boss now, though. Whoops. Ha, that'll show these dumb mafia guys how outdated single stage power is. Outer base incendiary propulsion is. <clears throat> Winning freely is overrated anyways. It's so hot. Something seriously wrong has happened to the island. It looks like a huge volcano went off. Mafia guys are too big and tough to admit it, but the heat is definitely getting to them. <clears throat> Mafia guys get way smelly when they sweat. Well, way smellier. You know, I've been seeing these tickets all around Mafia Town. Blue, red, green, yellow. They're kind of pretty. I have been wondering where they all go, though. <clears throat> oh, and I had, I had English. And I've been wondering what the Mafia could be keeping inside of those things, too. Well, today's the day I'm going to find out. <coughs> <coughs> oh, my God. <laughs> also, sorry, I'm sick with allergies. I love it. I love seasonal allergies. Favorite. <clears throat> I just met the strangest group of birds I've ever seen. Ever. One is a big disco penguin, and the other is a birdish thing. Is he even a bird? I have no idea. Birds don't usually have teeth, but this guy does. It's creepy. <clears throat> They're fighting to see who can make the best movie. That's in quotes because no one really seems to want to fight except the conductor. <clears throat> <clears throat> You know, there's a lot of creepy crow-type things getting on this train, too. Actually, everyone getting on is acting real funny. Even the owls. And they're harmless nerdy guys. <clears throat> I feel like something bad might happen since it feels so freaky. But the conductor is definitely, um... How do I put this? Loud? Pushy? How about persuasive? Anyway, gotta go catch a train. <clears throat> oh my gosh! I think... <laughs> Penguin DJ said I could be a star. I wonder if he means like a pop star. Wait, do I have to learn how to sing? Maybe an internet star. No, 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 no. A movie star. You barely even talk. DJ Groove says he's going to take care of all that stuff. I just have to show up on set. And I'm going to be famous. I can't wait. I just hope I don't have to sing. Well, you don't speak much. <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Every time I'm around the conductor, I can hear him mumbling about his movie. I think he's trying to figure out some big, huge, impressive, exciting, amazing thing to do with his train. I mean, okay, maybe his movie could use more action or something. Like, I'm, uh, actually, I have no idea what he could do. Being a movie director must be hard. <coughs> this moonset sure is getting busy. There's so many penguins showing up and some are bringing balloons. And there are these floats that are super big. Everything is looking so pretty. DJ Groove said they're all here for me too. I can't let everybody down. I don't know what I, <coughs> what we're going to do next, but all I have to do is try my best for all my fans. So excited. There's going to be a big fancy award show and I got to go. I mean, I think I'm excited. I mean, I wonder if I helped the right bird one. All the birds, all the birds were really nice and the movies were super cool. So I just wonder. Anyway, I'm super excited to see the award. Also, the timepiece. <laughs> what is it with people on this planet double-crossing me? 
It's so damn rude. <laughs> That's the last time I get involved in show business for a long time. Uh, what is this place? There's spiders and ghosts and a big creepy creepy grinning person thing. They said they were going to kill me, but then made me sign some paper instead. And I think he took my soul or something. Say what? Look at that nice signature down there. I thought I saw some weird tower poking out from between the trees and the grass swamp. But turns out it's a big old well. This snatcher told me so. At first I thought it was just being nice, telling me neat stuff to look for. But then he told me I'm going to have to go down there where it's smelly and dark. Shouldn't grown-ups usually keep kids out of wells or something? Perhaps. A toilet? A toilet? A toilet? Why is there a smelly, dumb, gross toilet in the forest? Why do I have to deal with something so smelly and dumb and gross? <clears throat> that Snatcher is such a jerk. Why do I have to do this? I don't want to touch a toilet. That Snatcher guy is such a jerk. Oh, this stinks. Now I need to go steal something of his from some old lady's attic. What's an old lady doing living in this... Spooky forest, anyway. Wait, she's gonna be creepy, isn't she? Old people already creep me out. I don't get it. He seems super creepy and menacing, but he wanted me to deliver mail? I have a really bad feeling about this, but he won't give up his timepieces unless I do his weird contracts. This guy! I do his dumb jobs, and then he tries to double-cross me. I beat him up, and now he just wants me to go away. But he also, like, can't make me, so... Whatever. <laughs> That was a really big birdcage and a really big bird. It looked kind of too big to fly or move, but it was cute. These are so fluffy! So hot! Too sweaty to write properly. Why is there a cake made of lava? Sweat drops. I hope the next time piece fell somewhere cold. I think I saw some ghosts today. Goat ghosts? I don't know where the bell took me, but it certainly wasn't somewhere I was supposed to be. I think I need to lie down. Why do I have to land on top of that windmill? That thing was huge. Why would you build anything like that big? Windmill, huge. Me, smooth. <clears throat> what the heck was that all about? Those nasty plants flowered and infected the big goats or something. All I know is that they got real angry and things got real stormy and it was a bad time for everyone. That got out of hand. This planet didn't have enough lava on it. I'm sick of people here sneaking into my ship. It's rude. Time for me to go home. Ah, look at the size of that ship. Maybe I should have made mine bigger. <laughs> Wait. Oh. <laughs> anyway, this should be fun. I deserve a holiday after all this running around. I think there's more timepieces here, though. <clears throat> there's totally more timepieces on this boat. Nobody even wants them. That moody old captain made me clean up uh, his ship. But joke's on him. At least no one's getting murdered or blown up here. Uh, whoop. <coughs> oh, God. That did not feel great. <coughs> I'm okay. Oh, Lord. <coughs> that was fun. No, it was not at all. Ugh. God, fuck. <coughs> okay, don't worry about anything that just happened. <coughs> I might have just gotten uh, thrown up. <coughs> but I know why. It's because of medicine. For my kidney stones. Which suck. I hate those pills. But... <coughs> Anyways, uh, whoops, I don't think anyone saw me do that. Should I come up with an excuse just in case? <clears throat> it was a freak accident. Icebergs just get in the way of ships sometimes. I really wanted to do it. Maybe sinking cruise ships isn't even illegal on this planet. <clears throat> oh, it is. This place is busy, huh? There's cats traveling all over the place. And the trains are pulled by cats, too? Weird. <clears throat> There was a timepiece here, but some big scary lady may be handed over to her. What's her deal? Why is she so mean? The Empress has me running around finding timepieces, but then she keeps taking them back off me. Rude! <coughs> she gave me some cash for it. It's green and smells of cat fur. 
What is it for? The smell of food is so distracting when I'm running around this place. I wonder if that rude lady will notice if I stop looking and go eat instead. <laughs> These tunnels are kind of spooky. They're all dark. And <coughs> they are all dark. And then a big cat comes whooshing along it. There's a smash up timepiece down here too. But I had to give it over like the rest. <coughs> Anger. Well that was tense. I nearly got squashed. All of that for more of this cash stuff. I'm making lots of money. I'm making lots of money, apparently, but I want my timepieces, not this junk. <laughs> it fell through a sewer grate, and there was more metro down there. What? And there was a timepiece down here, but I didn't get to keep it. So the metro is underground, but there's an underground train line. And these manhole covers lead under underground. Cats are weird. How many are there in this place? Not that I'm getting to keep any. I'm gonna sneak in there and get them back somehow. Well, that was close. The nasty cat lady almost got me. But I barely escaped completely on my own, and all the timepieces are mine. Bye bye, Metro. <clears throat> and oh, here.
I'm gonna end this here. But first thing, that was <laughs> I really like the one last journey one. But I wish there was a storybook for the Empress. We might get it at some point. But anyways, see you all next time. <clears throat>